All right, it is time for a game. We're about to ask some questions, but also answer some questions. Oh. So we've each selected some out of something called table topics, and it's really meant to just kind of spark conversation. Okay. Yeah, so this is fun. So Ron is joining us, and David keeps this game at his desk, which is a little strange, but you know, sometimes he just shouts one out across the newsroom. He does. I, it's, I it's, don't really do that. It's really it's quite okay. odd. It's fine. You know? It's fine. Yeah. It came like from just Heather, to be up. honest. He just Heather stands up right. on yeah. his chair. He's like, if you were given money to remodel your house, what would you change first? David Highfield. Is that your question? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, you get us started, Ron. You picked a question, so tell us, and then we'll answer your question. All right. Um, what would you try if you had no fear? No fear. Oh, my oh. gosh. You know what? I would jump out of an airplane if I had no fear, because okay. I think it'd be ex exhilarating and it would be, you know, so memorable. I would never do it otherwise. Just yeah. so I can imagine this, would you be in a parachute or would you be in one of those wing suits where they can kind of glide down? I hadn't considered that. <laughs> Probably a parachute. <laughs> yes. Although I just want to make sure the parachute opens. Right. That's the thing. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably go in one of those like diving capsules and go way deep down oh, into yeah. the bottom yeah. of the ocean, like on yeah. the floor, and kind of. Oh, I always wanted to do too. like sea exploration or space. That would be a good one. At least okay. if your parachute didn't open, you have no fear. So. That's <laughs> right. You'd be done. It's very morbid okay. right now. Mikey, let's do right, yeah. okay. What question do you have for us? Okay. What would you most like to do for someone else if you had the money and the time? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do you want to go first? No, I'll let you go first. <laughs> no, I, no, I want to I stall. Look at you, David. I want to stall. I don't know. I mean, there are so many people that are special in my life that you yep. want to pay thanks to mm -hmm. in some way. And, you know, and I would I would love to do something magnificent for those people that I love the most. But I don't know what. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, mean, I don't have all the is. money and time in the world, so right. I never considered it. And, and I think that they'd probably get sick of me if I just had plenty of time to hang out and just it's do like whatever Ron, they needed. No, no way. way. Get sick of Ron <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, you know, go down visit my dad or my sister uh, just help them maybe be like the maid or the, the lawn person for like a month of time well if just, you, you know, but it, I, don't you have all the money too in yeah, your you question? have all the money so you oh, can hire you a could, staff yeah, yeah you wouldn't have you to do yeah. any of that. I, I mean i don't yeah um okay okay that was not bad <laughs> all right um I, I just don't know which one if you would uh would you likely to be able to survive alone in the wilderness no, okay. even though I do have some training because oh, recently, tell. yeah, I, I, well, I held a scorpion and a snake. So if those things were to appear, I okay. think I would be better at it. Do you remember that? When I, I was, remember, okay, yeah, yeah, when I was at the farm. But, um, you know, I just like Survivor and those types of shows. I Like I said, I would ring the bell early. I no. don't think I would last very long. No offense if it was against Mikey and myself, I would totally last longer. You would. Now, it might just be hours for Mikey <laughs> and like, you know, Can double digits hours for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I was with the Boy Scouts, but I don't remember the anything like. You know how to tie a knot? <laughs> Is that what I you do. Well, you know, I, I would think that the most important thing would be uh, starting a fire. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Do you know how to um, do that? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I learned how to do that once for a story. A story that I did okay. about surviving in the wilderness. Right, right. Have no recollection of how to yeah. do it. Yeah. I can milk a cow though. Oh. Okay, well, you'll probably find okay. one of those out in the wilderness, Ron. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> sure. All right. Ron, you're we'll up with one there. more question. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a cool one. In what era would you most likely, uh, most like to have grown up in? Oh. Oh. I like the 70s. <laughs> like, if, like the platform shoes, okay. like with the fish in them, right. and just kind of like with walking fish, right? with the strut right. and the, yeah. the hat. I, I agree with kinda, that. Yeah. Like, yeah, the 70s, I mean, I wish I had been older in the 70s, I right. think, because yeah. I really kind of appreciate like disco and that right. kind of thing right. and all that stuff. But yet, I love the time that I'm right. living in now. Okay, yeah. all right. Because well, I that can get more married like the now. the 60s, though, like the big, yeah. like the I platform that was the shoes. 70s. Maybe like the beginning of the 70s. I mean, Maybe. I feel like Maybe. I was born at yeah. the end of the 70s. Oh. You know, I, I didn't well, see Well, I that, wouldn't know bro. anything about that. <laughs> I was born at the beginning era. of the 70s, but I was just a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> it might be your turn. All right, so no time. We're, we're oh, done, we're Ron. Done. We're done. Right. Time's yeah. up. See, they don't tell me anything. That's next, uh, next week. All right, all right, so no time for final weather. Ron, just tell us right now in a few words. Yeah, you know, small chance for rain in the overnight hours, but another pleasure, uh, pleasant one today. Uh, we're looking at a high temperature close to 70 degrees both today and tomorrow. Better chances for rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> it's too many words, Ron. <laughs> no, I thought that was actually Sorry. pretty good. I thought Sorry. that was nice. Five All words. Right. Thanks, Ron. <laughs>